Hello all out there. Um, as some of you might have seen, uh, I recently posted a short about uh, a YouTube short about um, compared the the new um, PCBs or, or balancer board PCBs compared to the old one, which is separated and there was still the harness in there. Yeah. So right now I'm I'm on the second pack and. Um, I realized something I want to bring to your attention. Um, first of all, I have to say I'm super thankful for you to to give me or to give me the upgraded uh, PCBs for free. Yeah. So um, maybe let's jump into that uh, quickly because I have here the comparison. Yeah. So these are the upgraded PCBs. They are shipping with the V3 and I assume also with the V4. Packs um, since beginning of 2024. If you ordered yours before that, before Christmas 2023 or, or in the last year 2023, you will get you. There's high likely that you get um, these kind of PCBs. So, uh, what is the difference between those two and those two? Um, quite uh, easy to tell you. So. Functionality wise, the new one have two leads. Um, one is for the sensors, for sensing the, the, the voltage between the cell. And the other one is for, um, is for uh, balancing, for the balancing current from the uh, active balancer you have as option in your case. So some of you might don't care because they don't have this option with the GB uh, active balancer but um, high likely you ordered those uh, with your cases yeah because it makes totally sense so um, maybe let's jump into it on those on the old ones what I complained about was that the leads are too small yeah and uh, give me a second Sorry for the mess here. It's a. I'm still in in construction, but I have here one of the old harness cables. You can see here. So, if you take those cables, yeah, in comparison to the leads, which are, which are um, on the old boards, the leads are much smaller and. Those have to get the current for balancing to the cells and also the voltage. Yeah, and um, there are other channels who already complained about this, and uh, maybe not um, due to the reason that the cables are too small, but uh, they had some issues with the balancing because current coming in or voltage coming in and uh, uh, sensing was was wrong. Yeah, so. Um, <clears throat> This is this is the first reason, yeah. So if you don't use the active balancers with your cases, you're totally fine with the old style of uh, PCB balancing boards in the cases, which are usually mounted on this rail and on this rail here, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but if you have the active balancer, um. I highly likely recommend, or I highly likely recommend not to use the balancing ports uh, on the old style of um, PCBs, um, but getting this harness connected, which is a mess in the case, or you get the new balancing ports. And um, this is where I am since. Saturday, Saturday, I got the new uh, balance boards arrived and those are not anymore the beta state because when they tested around, they had red leads here. Uh, right now, this seems to be a final version from you, but to be honest, in my opinion, be super careful with this because I found some issues with it. And um, I will explain you soon uh, what these issues are. Um, yeah, first of all, uh, I want to go uh, in some details what I found also about those. Um, they had, for example, 
wrong connectors uh, uh, soldered to it. So if you see here, you have here a kind of fl flag or, or how, how, how you say it, an edge, which is going a little bit out. Maybe you can see it right here. Yeah. So here on the left top, on the, uh, on the right top, you see um, there's kind of a... Um, that you there's kind of a, a edge that you cannot turn the, the plug around and put it in on the white ones they don't have <laughs> and this is this is the first thing and I already uh, complained about that because on these cables you can see these so these are the stop these are these to the balances these are okay stop give me a second I'm on the wrong ones. You need to have those. And on those, you can see, here are these kind of, uh, can you see it? Give me a second. Get it sharp. You can see here on, on the edges, these kind of um, things that you, yeah, here you can see it much better on the white one with the light. So, This means you cannot plug the white one into the old style white balance boards, which board with which is the 2B version. So you have two options: you you cut off these things on the plugs, and be careful that you don't uh, that you don't mix the direction of the plug, or you press it in somehow, or cutting here some parts out. Um, yeah, it, we are talking about DIY, but this is not what I would say uh, is DIY because this is a quality, quality issue with these kind of PCB boards. Yeah, good. This was the first thing. Uh, what you see on the old boards, on the old boards, the solder points are two or three millimeters inside the board yeah you can see it here it's inside here it's inside everywhere it's inside yeah and then it's not a problem to mount to to get these cables in this direction soldered but and this is a big but right now these are the new ones these are the upgraded pcb boards and this is where i want to get your attention and this could be could lead to really really big issues with your with your batteries and your whole solar system because um, you can have a short circuit with this. And um, what I exactly mean is that these solder points are not anymore two millimeters inside the PCB. They are really on the edge of the of the PCB, and this makes it super hard. Um, to get the cables in and I can tell you I I uh, already mounted one and it works yeah but I never started the active balancing process with these and this is what I'm a little bit uh, afraid of to do with these kind of new PCBs because they have really the issue that the solder points are really on the edge of this metal rail yeah and you have to bend the cables like that yeah and as long as there is insulation of the cables it's all fine but this is not given because i can tell you i can show it to you right now i hope you can see it um for example here you need to bend the cables 90 degrees upwards yeah and what you can see here on the cables, the insulation is not anymore given. And we are talking here about one millimeter, maybe 0 0.5 millimeter to the rails. Um, you, might, you might imagine what happens if this unisolated cable is connected to it. Some of you might say, yeah, it's only a testing lead for the vol voltages of the of the cell. Yeah, but the other one is for balancing. And the GV balancer can handle up to four 
amps of balancing. And these are kind of metal rails. So what will happen if you push four amps of, of current through the metal rail? Uh, sorry. I, I, sorry, I, I can tell you, I found this issue on several of these kind of boards. Here you can have it. Here is the metal out. Sorry, it's not it's not um, focusing. Here it's out. Here it's out. Here it's completely open. Uh, and here it's out. And even it's only one le one cable. This is something which should not happen at this kind of uh, setup. Yeah. I'm a little bit disappointed right now uh, because this was not the only uh, issue with it. The second issue, um, you can see all this mice dirt or it looks like mice having a party here. This is not uh, mice dirt. This is a shrinking tube because they over and over at EEL doing this, they are shrinking the 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 round terminals so far they're putting so far shrinking tube that if you have to in case you have to screw it you screw the the, the ring with a shrinking tube in between and don't have a proper connection for for the testing leads or for the current uh, uh, balancing current leads so i sat down and made 12 of these rails with each eight uh, uh, no, with each eight, f for each eight cells with two leads and have to cut off these kind of shrinking tubes. And this is really a mess. It took me three or four hours to do so. Um, quality issue. It's a quality issue. Yes, it's DIY, but in, in my opinion, this should not happen. This is a quality issue. Um... Yeah, nevertheless, the shrinking tube is a problem or could lead to a problem that you don't have proper connections with your with your leads. But the other issue I have right now here with this kind of, uh, you can see 90, 90 degrees bent uh, cables is another one. So um, let's jump into, uh, there was another issue. Yes. There is another issue. Um, it's also a design issue. So all the all the um, exit cables here, you can see it again. This shrinking tube, ninety. Uh, this shrinking tube, this cable, ninety degree bend, going up and having have to go over these kind of of bend here. It's, I don't like it. So yeah. Um, another issue was that uh, on one of these boards, on both, let me check, I don't know it exactly where it was, but the, the balance leads and the cables were not on the perfect, uh, not on the correct position. Here you can see it. It's really in between this kind of cutout of the, of the rail. But here we are um, five to 10 millimeters off, same here five to ten millimeters off so the cutout is is not with the leads at the same position good with this i can deal i can tell you but um the two other problems are uh, not good and this is something i will not leave like that so some of you might ask yeah what can i do about it First of all, you can uh, complain to E and wait another six to eight weeks to get uh, new balance boards maybe made for you. The other, uh, the other solution would be leave the old balance harness in there. You can use the, the packs also like that, but it's a little bit messy inside there with all the cables. The third option I see is um, getting some kind of insulation uh, between the rail and the boards here. Um, for example, a kind of tape, uh, electrical tape or 
a kind of um, plastic. Um, this would be an option for 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 mitigating this. Or the last option I'm looking into at the moment, and I'm not sure how how I will deal with this kind of issues in the future or or in the near future, especially for the six packs I have here to be upgraded, is to get the solder points resoldered. Yeah, so getting the cables off soldering it to the inside or to the downside so resoldering those and um, using the cables again the problem is that il is using a kind of super messy um, it looks like a glue or it's a, i don't know exactly what it is um and it's getting super hard and 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 uh, super hard to get it off from the board so I'm not sure how to deal with that. Uh, I'm, I'm breaking my head since two days about this, these issues, or since, yeah, yeah, at least two days. And you see, I started a second pack and realized that something is wrong here and did not go on with this kind of rail because um, I want to address these kind of issues first and uh, try to mitigate all, all the issues with it. Because we are talking here about 15, nearly 15 kilowatt hours of battery power. And I don't feel, feel really good to use such batteries with these kind of new PCBs um, when those are still have super, super, uh, super bad quality issues. Yeah. So I'm in contact with Il. Um, I only want to let you know um, if you are building these kind of packs. I don't want to give you advice about it, but look at these solder points and look if you are happy with it. And um, I'm quite sure if you have uh, a little bit of sense or for these kind of batteries and for electricity and power they can produce, you will not use these kind of balance boards because they can get your house burned down or whatever yeah so um yeah that's it for today um short explanation about the new balance boards the old exp uh, balance boards and uh, about the issues with those and um with that 18 minutes already done um see you soon and uh Happy, happy harvesting solar energy and see you in the next one. Bye.